Hey guys, Caleb with Caleb's Catches here. All right, so this is the spot I've been looking for the stripe for, gosh, weeks now. Every week I come here and check and see if they're here or not. I'm not seeing the normal activity we saw last year where they come up and flip their tails. But there's something on this side of the bridge that's coming up and just creating a whole bunch of little ripple spots. There were birds flying around, a bunch of bait. So I'm gonna cast this night crawler off this bridge. Mind you, I have no idea how I'm gonna get the fish up. If I hook anything, this is kind of just to see if there's anything in the area. If there is, great. Uh, also, if there is, I don't know what we're gonna do. Cause you know, fishing at the top of the bridge, I can't get out this way. I'd literally have to have my kayak to get out to where I've seen these ripples. Cause I'm halfway down the bridge area. Cause it's, it's been like in between here. I kind of just want to see what happens. Actually, we're right on one of the ripples areas. So we're gonna see what happens. This is probably gonna be insane if we actually get a bite. But they wanna get is out there. That'll give us a little bit longer, but I just want to see if there's anything biting on this side. So I'd hate to call it on one side because I didn't get any bite. Oh my gosh, we got something. Oh, dude, we had something. I didn't even notice it. Yep, bit my worm in half. Well, you know what that's gonna cause. We're gonna be standing out here a little bit longer. All right, guys, we're trying a new spot. I was driving through on my way to go to the dam and I saw this body of water. I fished on the other side of it, but never this side. And I see a bunch, a bunch of ripples. So it doesn't look like it's super deep but he doesn't have to be deep to find good fish. That's what a lot of people misinterpret. It's like, oh, that water is only two or three foot deep. Well, it doesn't have to be super deep to find good fish. Oh gosh. One thing I hope though is that there's not like something huge in here that I have to wrestle because I left my net in the truck. Doesn't mean I can't go get it. I'll come on line, walk right on. We're gonna start with this super shallow. I don't know if y'all have ever had to wrap four pound line on one of these things. It's a pain. <laughs> There's so many ripples out here. I just kinda don't see what we find. Like I said, if we can find some bluegill, that'd be great for some catfishing up the river. And we're not gonna be out here too long. We're just gonna give it just a little bit of a try. We still got a little bit of sunlight. <laughs> Help, you know, apparently got the hiccups. All right, guys, spot number three. Good old Watts Bar. I'm getting my bobber rig ready because I've seen some little stripe jumping and so forth. Maybe even find a bluegill for cut bait. But we're going to get the bottom rods out after that. Figure it's a good time to get this bait out there in the water. We're at the river, so I use a little bit bigger piece. Thankfully, the sidewalk is back here. That really messed up the fishing for like a week. So there's that. Gosh, that glow stick is sticking up high. It might work out though. I can see it pretty good. Normally I have it in the bobber pretty good ways. <sighs> All right. 
to the heavy. Is that already a hit? It makes me nervous doing it this way. So what we need to do Storm is bigger than that. You never know what you're going to catch on a knock collar. Just about any part of the food chain will leave a knock collar. Even a guard eats in its face and pisses it off enough. I need to have our net ready. Move this back a little bit because I don't want that, you know, it's coming up. Problem. Oh, that was a battery. Don't know why that was in there. But we just lost a battery. It was a dead battery, but still, we lost a battery. I use bug spray. Those bugs should leave me alone. Fingers crossed. Sometimes it's just wishful sinking. I need my scissors and let's find my weights. If I actually put them in here or I just think about it, it's gonna suck if I got them out and then put them in here. It wouldn't be the first time I've done something like that. I'd be like, okay, I've got everything and I'm just leaf without gathering everything I gathered. We have to, oh, there's some weights. There we go. That should be good enough. Make sure here. This is my position. I think so the ones I got in that bag are bigger. Okay, that should be plenty. You don't have to have a ton of weight to cast out for catfish on the rods I'm using. I didn't bring the big catfish rod tonight. No point. I brought the one that's been tested. That's all that matters. No idea how deep these fish are. And the thing is, you never know when you're going to get a bite. So as a precautionary measure, I'm going to do this. That way it can't pull my rod in the water while I'm doing this. This has got a nice hook on it, but I'm going to put a different hook. I think we're just going to go with a basic little hook. Little amber dean. Who knows? We might do some keeping of catfish or something if we catch them at all. I'm wanting to get more used to bottom fishing. I tried that a good bit last Sunday and it paid off well. Uh, only reason y'all aren't going to see the content is because my camera died as I was reeling in the drum so y'all only get to see the drum which still is a possibility I haven't decided if I'm going to use the footage or not it's pretty crazy catching a 17 inch drum at that park that park's not known for seriously big fish I'm just going to let that drift do its thing we're actually going to set this up right this time. I don't know why I put it the way I did last time. Sometimes I forget how I do my own rigs. So, there's that. So I got that. I'll put the scissors on there to hold that in place. Um, Alright, this is the bag. We just need a... No, it takes longer with Nightcrawler. I've noticed that. But you can potentially find some pretty good fish. This is one of the ones I wanted, I believe. 
yes. I'm not putting a super big hook on the bottom because I'm just using a night crawler. I mean, it'd have to be a big old wad of night crawlers to make it worth it to do anything like that. I don't have enough night crawlers to go that route tonight. I've got what I'm using and that's it. It's humid out here, man. I'm not so pleased to me I grabbed my water. I did. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a standard rig where the hook goes under, or the weight goes under the hook. So i got to leave me enough line at the end of this hook after I tie it off to put the weight. You generally want the weight about a foot below it if you can do so. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do so. Trying to decide if I need one weight or if I should go with two. So these aren't these aren't the heaviest of weights. <sighs> Darn bugs. All I do to tie my weight on is do a little pretzel knot here. Make sure it goes through there. You can make it slide if you want to. I don't like it sliding unless you're putting it above the hook. Even then, I still recommend it be pegged so you're not having a whole bunch of back and forth with it. We're going to start with one sinker. You can always add more, take more off if necessary. Because I've only got one of these sinkers to begin with, so. Now we've got that. Take our hookies off here. Pop dry right out. This is the part that gets scary. So you're just like, you're chilling with the bait out there. I don't know how deep the bait is tonight. It's my other issue. Oh my gosh, we got a whole bait school running. See if we can get one of them. There's literally a whole school of bait right there running. Come on. They are right there. We don't know what these are yet, so that's kind of what we're trying to figure out. Are they something that's going to bite a worm? I think what we're going to do... We're going to set this a little deeper. It's going to be a little bit of a pain to cast, but we need... We probably need this to be every bit of five or six feet deep. We want the potential of hooking catfish as well. Catfish out the river generally aren't shallow. That can change, but generally, generally, they're not shallow. I've caught catfish about five feet deep. That's the most shallow I've found them. We're going to put a big old worm on this. So we want it to cover the hook for this case. Somebody missed a fish. Yeah, somebody either missed a fish or they're mad at their buddy. All right. So we got night crawler on bottom. That's what we're going to deal with. Um.
think what we need to do that drift right there because if it stays on that side I can put this over here so we got our bottom rig going down Should be enough to hold us in place. Pick it up. I'll get tension so I can feel him. Yeah, he's right there. I felt him hit. Got him. Got him. Oh, buddy. Come here. <laughs> What are you? Oh, you got a little bit of fight to you. Oh, you got a little bit more fight than I thought. Come on. Come on, buddy. You're on the bottom, so I'm guessing you're probably a... What are... Wait, whoa. Is that a catfish? It is. We got a scatfish. Not too bad. Oh, we got us a kitty kitty. It's not huge, but he's a kitty kitty. Come here, buddy. Thank you. Boom. And he's not bad. I've had smaller squeakers. Um, we are grabbing the catfish holders out of here. I have no desire to get my hand spine tonight or any other night for that reason hey buddy see so guys little squeaker no 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 don't don't do that don't do that come on no oh he's talking to us but he's getting that weight slung around him that's what I'm trying to avoid okay I can't get that out at least. Hey, buddy. Stop. Got the hook. I said he may or may not make it. Catfish, is, catfish are pretty resilient. But there he is, guys. Not too bad. He's a little scarred up. Uh oh. Well, the rod's down. Daggummit. Oh, is he still there? Well, guys, obviously it was a pretty decent evening. Started at the creek bridge area trying to see if we could locate the stripe missed some fish don't know what it was i know the carp are spawning there's gar and all kind of stuff over there but there's a chance we hooked one of them yellow bass stripe we were after and then new area didn't really pay off i tried to catch a couple bluegill and they just weren't biting made it to the watts bar dam hey got that bottom fishing rig out there and ended up finding us a catfish so guys, I hope y'all are enjoying the content. If that subscribe button is red, make sure it's gray so you don't miss any of the content. Let me know if you're liking this style of content. I'm trying to include more of the actual adventure itself and not just the catches and be like, yep, yeah, here's the fish and I'm done type of deal. Kind of want y'all to see my thought process, what's going on, and just get out there and hopefully y'all learn something and have a good time. Well, this is Caleb with Caleb Catches reminding you, we're here to teach the world to fish one cast at a time.